Hey everybody, it's Joe Roberts of OneWineDo.com. I'm here in Lambertville, New Jersey, where wine is made nearby, by the way, in case you didn't know that. I've got some friends, um, the pack, as I'm gonna call them, the alpacas. And why am I here? I'm on a farm with alpacas, I'm talking to you about wine. Well, the reason I'm doing that is wine is an agricultural product. It's a farm product. And so, a lot of people have this romanticized notion about what farms are all about. And a lot of times that extends to wine. We want to believe that wine comes from uh, a farm that someone goes out their back door and they and their family, they, they grab the grapes and they, they crush them together on foot and they make wine in tiny quantities and, and probably speak with French accents. And that really isn't how most wine is made in the U.S. In fact, it's not how most farm agricultural products are produced in the U.S. That probably, that ideal probably accounts for less than 1% of how any agricultural product, chicken, beef, milk, wine included, is made. In fact, in the United States, most wine is produced in California. Much of the grapes for that are grown in the, in the very hot area of the Central Valley. And it's, it is not somebody walking out their backyard into a farm. Oh, sorry, it's a little pushy. It's vast fields of wine grapes being grown uh, and then uh, crushed and vinified and fermented in, in huge, uh, huge facilities. Now, that doesn't mesh with our ideal, but it actually does have some advantages for you as a consumer. What it means is you can get a product that's fairly inexpensive, say um, under $10 a bottle, that actually tastes pretty good. It won't be terribly complex, but it will be pretty consistent year on year. And the fact that you can get such a relatively high quality of product with uh, such a relatively uh, high um, rate of uh, Sorry, this is really tickling me. <laughs> with, with such a, a relatively high uh, consistency rate in that product, is pretty amazing, actually. But what it also means is when you've got a product where the ideal really is met in our romantic minds here about how wine is made, where we actually do get a product where someone does go out their backyard into the vines, tends it themselves with their family, you know, crushes it, makes it in tiny quantities. Well, that is pretty rare, but that makes it pretty special. And you're much more likely to find that kind of ideal in wine made in $30, $40, $50, all the way up to thousands of dollars of bottle price points. So it should be kind of celebrated because it's, it's sort of like a little bit of art and a little bit of beauty. And it's pretty rare, actually, when you look at the grand scheme of how that product is made. I think these natives are getting a little restless, so I'm going to go. Until then, next, till next time, cheers, everybody.